What's up, YouTube? I'm Petey. You back with another episode with Pixel Petey. Today, I'm gonna be giving you all my top 25 NCAA college football prediction picks. But first, if you like these videos, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. But I got two things I want to say first. For what well, this week is week 13. For week 12, I went 11 out of 20, so I got nine picks wrong. That was all right. But that was almost, that's over 50%, about 50-something. But on this uh, top 25 list, two of the games, I do not have the lines for yet. I been wrote this down. One of the teams that was on made the top 25 list got taken off. They no longer ranked as a 25 team, so I had to take them off, redo it. Then the Alabama and Auburn game. Well, Alabama playing West Carolina, then Auburn is playing Sanford. They do not have a lineup for neither one of those games. So, disclaim, as you should say, I'm going to go ahead and take both of them just straight up to win. So, I'm not even going to count it or write it down. So, so those two games, I'm not even going to uh, pretty much you don't even worry about because I'll just take them straight up to win because they're going to cover. But the first game is Penn State. They currently ranked at number eight. They play on number ranked two, Ohio State. They say Ohio State is going to beat them by 18 points. They're over under for the game is at 56 and a half. I'm taking the score to go over the 56 and a half points. Then our next game is Oklahoma State, who is ranked at number 21 right now. They're saying they're going to win by a touchdown, seven points, versus West Virginia. And they're over under for the game is 59 and a half. Excuse my loss. That quick I lost what number I was at. Because I, I got something else written, written on this paper I'm reading, y'all. But I'm taking that score to go over. I, they, they, they've been 50-50 with them with their over-unders. But usually, and this is what I caught on with them this year, because usually their scores go over. This year, if the score high, it go under. If the score like mid-range, low, like in the 50s, that's when they score to go, the score will go over. So I'm taking that over. Then the next two games, the next game was the West Carolina versus Alabama, where they ranked number five. I told you no line on them. Taking them straight up to win. If if you want to do something, you ain't gonna ain't gonna uh, gain a lot, but that is up to you. Then the Sanford versus ranked number fifteen Auburn, same thing. That's the other game I told y'all to begin with. Then we got Illinois versus uh, Iowa, who was ranked at number seventeen. They saying they gonna beat Illinois by fifteen points. They over under for the game is at fifty eight and a half. I'm taking that score to go over. Then we have Kansas playing. Iowa State, who was ranked at number 22, and they saying Kansas State, I mean, Iowa State is going to beat Kansas by 24 and a half points. They over under for the game is at 58 and a half. I'm taking that to go over as well. Then we have Minnesota, who was ranked at number 10. They saying they're going to win by 13 and a half points, and they playing Northwestern. They over under for the game is at 39 and a half. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I know that you'd be like, oh, that's, that's nothing but uh, 40 points, really. So they should be able to put up that 21, 20, you got it. So, or, yeah, or 20 to 19. No, nah, you don't want no 20 to 19. That's 39. You need 40, 40 or better. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Hopefully you get some touchdowns out of the game. But. Then we got Texas State playing Apache State, who was ranked at number 24. They saying they're going to beat Texas State by 29. I'm, I was heading towards Texas State to cover the 29 points, but I don't care. Just go with the over. And that's at 52, so I'm taking the over at 52. Then we got Boston College playing Notre Dame. They saying Notre Dame, well, Notre Dame is ranked at number 16 first. Then they saying Notre Dame is going to beat them by 19 and a half points. Their over under for the game is at 64. I'm gonna go ahead and take the 64. It's gonna be a high scoring game. Boston College defense ain't like, like that, so hopefully Northern Dame be marching up and down the field and Boston College score some little sneaky points. So take I'm taking the over. Then we got UCLA playing USC. They ranked at number 23. They saying they gonna win by 13 and a half points against UCLA. I'm, I got them covering that. And they over under for the game is at 63. Then we got SMU, who is currently ranked at number 25. They playing Navy. They saying Navy is going to win by three and a half points. They over under for the game is at 67 and a half points. 
I feel as though SMU is going to win the game, but I'm taking them to cover. Cover three and a half points. You'll get more if you take them straight up, too, if you ain't know that. But I'm taking SMU to cover the points. Then we got Texas A&M playing Georgia. They ranked at number four. They're saying Georgia's going to beat Texas A&M by 13 and a half points. I'm going to take Georgia to do that. That's two TDs. Then the over-under for their game is at 45 and a half. Then we got Michigan, who is playing Indiana. Michigan is currently ranked at number 15. They're saying they're going to beat Indiana by nine points. Their over-under for the game is at 53. I took their score to go under. No, I took Michigan State to cover the points against Michigan last week. That's the one I lost. But I'm going to go ahead and take this score to go under 53. Then we had Purdue playing Wisconsin, who is currently ranked at number 14 out of the top 25. They saying Wisconsin is going to beat them peoples by 24. Their over-under for the game is at 47 and a half. I'm going to go ahead and take the score to go over. Then we got Memphis, who is ranked number 18. They saying they're going to beat South Florida. They playing South Florida. They saying they're going to beat them by 14 and a half points. I like that score to go over. It's at 60, so that should be. You them some high school teams anyway. And then we got Temple playing Cincinnati. Cincinnati is ranked at number 17. They saying they're going to beat Temple by 10 points, 10 and a half points. Then they over under for the game is at 46 and a half. That's kind of low for them too. But I'm going to go ahead and take that score to go over to 46 and a half. Then we got Arkansas playing the number one ranked team in college football. That's LSU. They number one. They saying LSU going to beat them by 44 points. And their over under for the game is at 69 and a half. I feel as though LSU going to put up about 45, might put up 50. I'm going ahead and taking it over. So that's 69 and a half looking real good to me. Then we got Oregon, who was ranked at number six. They playing Arizona State. They saying they're going to beat them by 15. Oregon going to beat Arizona State by 15. Their over under for the game is at 54. Yet, Oregon haven't covered the over for me. And then I stopped messing with them. I started going with the other team or them to cover the point straight up. And that still ain't working out in my favor. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and go back with the over. Then we have TCU playing Oklahoma, who's ranked at number 10. They saying Oklahoma is going to beat TCU by 18 and a half points. Their over under for the game is at 65. I'm going to take the over for the 65 points. Then we got Utah playing Arizona. Utah is ranked at number seven. They saying Utah is going to win by 22 and a half points against Arizona. Their uh, over, they over is at 58 and a half, so I'm going to take the over. Then we got Boise State. That's the last game. They ranked at number 20. They gonna, they playing Utah State. Uh, they saying Boise State is going to beat them by seven and a half. Their over under for the game is at 53 and a half. So I'm taking the over in that game too. So quick breakdown of the picks again. I got Penn State versus Ohio State over 56 and a half. Uh, Oklahoma State versus West Virginia's uh, game over 59 and a half. Alabama Auburn um, taking them straight up just cause I'm not even gonna count them on the prediction picks uh, for what the numbers. Then we got Illinois versus Iowa. I'm taking that score go over 58. Then we got Kansas versus Iowa State taking that score go over 58 and a half. Then we got uh, Minnesota versus Northwestern. There's the uh, over is at 39 and a half. I'm taking that over. Then Texas State playing Alpache State. I'm taking that score over 52. Boston College versus Notre Dame over 64. I'm taking USC to win by the 13 and a half points against UCLA. I'm taking SMU to cover the three and a half points against the Navy. I'm taking Georgia to win by the 13 and a half points against Texas a and I'm taking the Michigan versus Indiana game under 53. Then the Purdue versus Wisconsin game over 47 and a half. Then the Memphis versus South Florida game over 60. Then the Temple versus Cincinnati game over 46 and a half. Then the Arkansas versus LSU game over 69 and a half. Then we got Oregon versus Arizona State over 54. Then the TCU versus Oklahoma over 65. Then the Utah versus Arizona game over 58 and a half. And then the last game, Boise State versus Utah State over 53 and a half. And there you go, another episode of Picks with Petey. Get money, stay humble. Let's let's see if I can hit all these in a row. I see y'all next time.